Well, thank you, Judith, and, and of course, Rodi, for joining us. <laughs> and now, let's get straight to it. Why Border Collies? Well, um, I think when I was 15, I used to go to a dog training class with a little Jack Russell. And somebody came along to, with a Border Collie, and I instantly fell in love with it. <laughs> And I, I just watched it and I thought the movement, the attention, everything about the character, I really, really liked. Mm. And she said to me, oh, you can have him and pay me with your pocket money. <laughs> <laughs> Which took a long time to pay for him, but of there course, you go. <laughs> yeah. um, and you've had a great deal of success in the beast. Um, you've been a Breeder of the Year eight times, is it? Uh, I think ten years now. Wow, with, and also we've, we've won the Breeder Stakes at Crufts twice that's, with that's the team. phenomenal. Yeah. It is, yeah. So clearly your, your involvement with the breed, starting at 15, runs, runs very deep. And now um, I'm 74. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we should look back at the, the history of the breed. Uh -huh. How exactly did, was the breed developed? Well, um, obviously it's a herding dog. Mm. And the word uh, collie comes from coley, which is, means a useful dog. Right, OK. And it was bred, obviously, by stockmen and particularly sheep working mm. on the borders yeah. between Scotland and England, particularly, and bred as a... Red is a working dog to herd sheep and cattle, etc. Right, okay. And it developed from there, obviously, into uh, showing in obedience mm. and trials and search and rescue. They're very good at search and rescue yeah. and scenting, and eventually as a show dog. Is it fair to say there's quite a difference between breeders of working and breeders of showing border collies? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. Um, I mean, the farmers, the farmers and the sheepdog trialers are breeding dogs to work, mm. and they don't particularly worry about what they look look like. Whereas the show border collies, mm. they're looking for the same construction and the same movement, because the standard requires. Yes. You can't show it watching sheep in the ring, obviously, <laughs> but it does have to have that economy and stealthy gait. Right which you can lose. You can lose it quite easily in the show dogs, but it should be retained because that's what the dog was bred for. Yeah. But now Border Collies are the only uh, breed in the herding group that have to pass a herding test in order to become a full champion. Right, OK. Wow. Otherwise, they're just a show champion. We only have one in the breed at the moment. Yeah. A huge achievement because if you're showing every week, you probably haven't got the time to do it, and you haven't got sheep. I actually <laughs> have sheep, and it is, it is a great ambition of mine to have a full, a full champion. champion, yes. And I have got a bitch at the moment that's very strong working instinct, and she's only 14 months, but right. I think I might try <laughs> and get her she's the one. trained. <laughs> yes, she's the one for me. <laughs> um, and with that in mind, Border Collies, um, on the, the intelligence test, yes. came out top of all breeds. Absolutely. Um, does that mean they need different stimulus? They need a lot of stimulus, and they need consistent stimulus, uh, and very good timing. Mm. The people who are handling them have to have really good timing. Right. And it's the same in the show ring, to get a dog to stand and look and to move freely around the ring, you still have to have the ti timing right to train that, to train obedience, to train agility, to train flyball, to train sheepdog trials. It's the timing and the consistency and the strength, really, of the trainer. You've got to be quite strong to handle her. I don't mean physically strong, <laughs> but you have to be the leader of the pack. Yeah, you have to be the alpha. Yes. Tell us a bit more about the characteristics. Intelligence is clearly one. Yes. Um, what else would, how else would you describe a border collie? Uh, I'd say they're very sensitive. They're, they're not for everybody, you know, because they, they're constantly listening. You can see him constantly listening mm. and looking yeah. and, uh, and responding to things. So you've got to keep them motivated. You've got... Because otherwise they do naughty things. <laughs> and they, because they are intelligent and they want to work. They're very loyal. They're sometimes a one-person dog. Right. Um, because I'm not so agile as I was, <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a team of handlers for right. me. And I, have, I must say, my dogs will go with most people now. But they have to get a bond with the dog. 
initially. And they, they're herding dogs, they're working breeds, so mm. that suggests they need an awful lot of exercise as well. They do. Um, I mean, there are dogs that if you give them a 20 minute walk twice a day and you give them things to do in the garden or you hide things and keep them motivated, then they're quite happy to come in, in and lie down. Um, every dog's different, really. I mean, he, he's quite a laid back sort of dog, it, yeah. yes. But I've got others that would be on the go all the time. All the time. They have to go to active people. Active people. <laughs> active people, um, yeah. So that's, that's another thing. Pet owners, mm. what, what advice do you give them when they, they come and ask for, for one like one man and his dog? Right. Well, either give them the book. <laughs> this is your book here? Yes, this is my book, which is extremely good. Different people have written different chapters. And there's a whole chapter in there on what to do when you get your puppy and mm. how you have to look after a border collie. I also, because I'm an accredited breeder, or assured breeder, um, <laughs> I give them a sheet which is specific to border collies. Right. I tell them not, not to, if they've got several dogs, not to throw balls together because they start to collide and yeah. herd each other and <laughs> etc. and then you get trouble. Yeah. Not to over-exercise as a puppy because their, their shoulders and their hips need to form. Right. And so you need to, but they need very good socialisation. He's just six months and I tend to keep him out mm. quite a lot so that he can get used to people, used to coming to shows, used to going up the road, mm. all those sort of things they need to do. Mm. Okay. And basic, they can start teaching them basic obedience right from when they have them, really. They love to be with you. They love to do th anything with you, really. Anything you want to do, they'll do it with you. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Julie. Very welcome. Best of luck. We hope we see that full champion very soon. I hope so. <laughs> that would be really, that would really, that's the one thing I have to do before <laughs> I die. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm.